Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome back to this Infinite Galaxy video. Today I want to talk about emulators. Um, probably some of you already saw it before and I also today run the game not in full screen so you can see I am not using my phone to play this game. It would also be very very difficult to create the content on the phone. Um, so most of you already know I play on the PC and um, this has multiple reasons. Sure, sometimes I use a phone to play, but as I'm in front of the PC most of the time anyhow, playing on the PC is much more convenient to me. The graphics are good enough that you can easily scale it up to a normal screen size and then you can use your mouse. Um, you can put it in the background, you can do whatever you want, and it works still like the Watch game the on the phone. So how I'm doing this is I'm using an emulator. I did try a few emulators before. I did try Bluestacks, I did try Nox, but finally I ended up using LD Player. Um, it's working the smoothest. Um, you probably saw it when you watched my videos for a longer time. At the beginning the videos were sometimes a little bit, um, yeah, not, not really smooth. There were like small hiccups in the game and also it crashed more often. So now I'm using LD player. Um, I don't get paid by LD or by any other company. Um, I'm just sharing this. If you want to use a different one, as that you can also use Nox, you can plus stacks. And if you Google for Android emulators, you will find a lot. I'm using an Android emulator because, um, yeah, I got an Android phone. So if you install it, I will put the link in the description and also in the comments. Um, you can just go there, you click on the Play Store. Um, the game will ask you to provide your, um, your login data. And now that's one thing. If you want to use the same account and if your account is linked to a Google account, you will need to share this Google account with LD player. Now, this is a big company. Um, I think at the moment also one of the biggest. Um, I gave them my account. I never had any problems with this. And um, yeah, then you just search in the Google store for Infinite Galaxy. And see, you can directly install it. Or in my case, looks like we get the new update. Um, you can update it. Besides that, it runs like a normal Android. You got your buttons there. So as soon as you installed it, the infinite galaxy symbol will come up here. You can click it and it will start it. You will see the different tabs that you have open up here. And um, what I usually do to create the videos, I click here on the full screen and I have my full screen with Infinite Galaxy. One thing I noticed that is different when you play on an emulator and this happens on all emulators is you get this Infinite Galaxy. Oh, that was great. Ah, okay, it um, just finished the install from the updates that I just downloaded. Um, you get this Infinite Galaxy um, logo from time to time when you go out from your spaceport. Um, I don't have this on my phone, but I saw this in all emulators. When they introduced this a few patches ago, I checked also on Nox, I checked on Bluestacks. They have it the same. I think um, Camel is checking if you play in on an emulator and as all content creators play in on an emulator, I guess that they figured out, hey, if we do something, we can always show our Infinite Galaxy logo so everyone instantly knows what game it is and uses maybe as some kind of advertisement. So every time you switch screens, it will pop up the Infinite Galaxy logo there. Um, if you know a way around this, let me know in the comments or share it on Discord with me. I would be very interested in this, but um, it's not really something 
that causes a problem. Also, it works fine using the emulator on events and everything. Um, depending on the hardware you use, you can choose same like on your phone different settings than for um, the quality, low, medium, high, ultra high. Um, only thing I have the music turned off else I will get into trouble with YouTube because I don't have the copyrights for that music. So um, if you want to play on your PC, that's the best way I found. Um, LD player is the one that runs fastest, smoothest. It works really well also with moving around, with scrolling. Having the mouse also solves a few problems I have with my big fingers on small touch screens. So um, for me, this is a perfect solution. If it is for you, it's something you have to decide. And if you want to get out of the full screen, you just press escape and it will get smaller again. Um, and that's it. So yeah, this was a very short video. Just wanted to give you um, an idea how I play it. I got the question quite a few times. Um, what I'm using to play it on PC. So it is for now LD player. If this changes, I will give you an update and tell you why and to what program I'm switching. But at the moment, um, this works best for me. And um, for everyone who's interested in this, now you know, and um, I hope you will enjoy the game on the PC as much as you enjoy it on the phone. For me, I enjoy it even more on the PC because um, it is it is bigger and it works very well for me. Okay, so hope to see you on the next video again and have fun in the game.